Hey, what's up guys, it's Anup here, back with a new tutorial. In this one, we're going to discuss about the double exposure, or you can say multiple exposure. If you're owning a DSLR, which have an option called multiple exposure, so you can get a picture like this without editing in your Photoshop or Lightroom. If you wanna know how I take this shot, so you gotta stay till the end of the video. So how do you do that? Let's start. You can get that double exposure shot, you know, in your camera itself. No need of Photoshop or any other editing software. You can get inside your camera and in raw format. Each and every camera has their own settings. I'm using my Canon ones. There is a section of image settings, uh, video settings and normal camera settings. And these two are like uh, custom settings. Go to your image settings and find your multiple exposure i can find my multiple exposure right down here as you can see uh, multiple exposure is disabled so this is a kind of built-in software multiple exposure is disabled it's you know a point and shoot kind of set it up and you can get to go on disable enable it second option will be multiple expose controls so i will recommend you to set it to additive so after that uh, number of exposures i will take only two pictures offset and go to the continuous multiple exposure shot select continuously so you can select the image like you have taken one shot uh, during the daytime and another you want to club it with another picture so i have not yet uh, any pictures right now so i will go and take both the pictures now on so go to menu if uh, it's enabled so directly hit this one so you will directly see uh, over here uh, two images that is multiple exposed as you can see so guys, I will show you my some uh, exposures you know on my balcony uh, it's kind of weird but I will be doing with my friend also so let's jump into this to get correct exposure you need to go to a overexposed location or you can say keep any kind of light source you know behind the subject the main thing is when you set up your camera for taking the picture you know the double exposure shot and the first image is like of uh, 1 by 500 of seconds so the another picture will be act as uh, 1 by 250th of seconds you know the half of that so you should look for that kind of you know exposure place and set it inside your frame to overlap it this thing worked good in uh, silhouette you can say shilouty because those pictures are a bit of contrasty so you can find a very good details of your double exposure shot you know uh, the subject with the brighter background will be taken first and find some more contrast shot to overlap with after that you can get a perfect blended picture in raw play with the shutter a little bit you know like increasing the shutter speed you are in the brightest day you know or if you're doing a sunset time then set your shutter speed to lowest you can get you know the brightest pictures look for very contrasty things with light backgrounds in theory from the first image the amount of light you know is leaking uh, will act as a base of any subject on to that if you click the second picture that white background will stay as uh, your base image on the both blended pictures as you can see this kind of pictures a little bit color grid in my lightroom so as you can see this is the grid photo uh, but not photoshop so conclusion is basically your photo or the frame is twice exposed uh, with different images just you need to align you know the frame as you wanted to do uh, for example i have a couple of you know pictures already i have done for this episode so have a look This is kind of fun part of your you know photography you can practice it on your own you know with the different setting exposure and all possibilities are endless in this as uh, this might give you a new taste in your photography i guess basically every dslr camera right now most of them have multiple exposed shot options so you can go and play with it so this is it for this episode guys hope you understand the double exposure you know in this i have probably taken only two pictures but here is one picture with three exposed shots look like you can find me on instagram for 
uh, photography and cinematic related stuff. Uh, if you're new to this channel, then please uh, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification. It will help me a lot. Uh, if you like this video, then hit a like. If you dislike it, then dislike it. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Later.